Hello everybody, Flick here, time for yet another Let's Look At, and today we are looking at The Mim's Beginning. This is a game that's very much like a mixture between the old Populous game and Black and White, I would say. This is by Squatting Penguins Games, or just Squatting Penguins, I'm not sure either way, it's a fantastic company name, well done. And I've been playing it a little bit before recording, I've done the first two stages, so we're going to be having a look at the third, I think if we went to start here, I believe it would let me pick from stages I've done, yep. So that was the first stage. The setup is you are a godlike being controlling the Mims, helping them survive after their ship gets crashed. Is that the right way to say that? Shipwrecked? I don't know. On a planet that, well, it used to be a planet, but then was exploded into all these tiny little islands with various different flora and fauna on them. And you help them by using your psychic energy to build buildings, help them gather resources, use said resources to build trade ports, trade with other things in space, etc, etc. I've been learning as I go. There's also a predator aspect, which is a bit interesting. I don't mean predator as in, like, you know, the thing that fought with Arnold Schwarzenegger. You'll see what I mean. So I've done something went wrong. I've done so far so good. And now we're on the Great Canyon. I've already seen the setup to this stage, but I think we'll see it again if I press it. So let's find out. First thing you'll notice is that the visual, visual style is very nice, it's very lively, very vibrant and bright. And the game has a nice tongue-in-cheek style to it. So I fled my last island I was on with my surviving Mims here. And I think this is the captain, yes it is. What happened, what's happening here? As promised we brought you three flabbits, that's what I had to do to finish the last stage. There they are there, in fact. Hello flabbits. We have a small problem here, follow me, I will show you. Now some of the dialogue is very literal, some of it is actually not accurate, but that's because I believe that English is not the primary language of the creators. It adds to the bit of the charm, I think, for the aliens anyway. I mean, who, who says aliens have to know perfect English? Holy! Small problem? So this is what we're dealing with in this mission, I have yet to tackle anything like this. This green abomination down there ate our Psy engine. The radiation made it mutate and grow very fast. We tried to get it out, but the path is overgrown and po with poisonous plants. Only three of us have survived. We have to recover this engine. Let's burn these weeds down and let our guardians do the rest. Guardians are like upgraded mims who focus only on defense rather than resource gathering. We also noticed that the monster attracts these strange green bubbles. I wonder what for. Maybe we should take a closer look. <clears throat> So what is this? I've been given a new type of plant. A burr trip. Mims have discovered new biofruit earlier, so it looks like it's a faster way to gather resources. So anyway, once you get into the game... Oh, what is this telling me? On this island, I have the telepathy skill. If the Mims are in trouble, your guards will come and help them. Okay, good. Right, so the main objective. Get into the canyon and investigate the evil plant. Secondary objectives. Plant two of the, the new seed I just got and upgrade my side tower. Fair enough. So this is what it looks like. I can use the wasad keys to kind of turn the camera like that. I can also elevate and descend. I can do the same thing as well as zoom in and out with the mouse kind of by holding it on the edges of the screen like so. Simple enough to control. You can't get full autonomous movement as far as my where you are limit being like on these axes as it were. But that's fine. So I need to build stuff. But I guess I could explain a few things first. This bar here is the scent meter. As you build more plants, butt trips or whatever they're called, that generate the, the bio fruit that the mims collect, and there's actually some already doing it down there, if I can zoom in and turn enough. There's some of the single ones. They get collected into this juicer here, then the silos store the energy, and that's how much I have, and then I can spend the energy on upgrading stuff, building stuff, etc. But the more things you have which produce resources, the more scent you create, and either scavengers, such as like slugs and whatnot from nearby other islands, or predators will come to your island because they smell you and you have to defend yourself. So the higher the level of your side tower, the more space for buildings and the more you can use your psychic powers to help your creatures. Yep. And I now have haste. Okay, but let's concentrate what I was supposed to do first. So I need to plant the new form of seed I have. Why can't I do that? Ah, because I need a bigger psi or a, a bigger collection of energy. Can I upgrade my silo? I totally can. I will do that. Probably build another one as well. But we'll wait for that to upgrade. And then my storage goes up to 200. I need it to be up at 300 though. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to need to upgrade my psi tower here. Let's see, I don't have any guardians. Oh wait, no, I do have one guardian. 
Where is he? So I can show you. Ah, there he is. So these guys, they don't do any resource gathering. They just walk around. They fire psi blasts at any slugs that come to try and eat your plants or any predators that try and eat your mims. Wind power seems to be the only way to generate the power used for buildings, at least so far that I've been taught. So, uh, I think, anyway. In fact, we can look at some of the buildings I have here. So silos, juicers, that's a science, a bio lab, sorry, not science lab. You use that to genetically engineer animal life, which you can then trade with a spaceport when you have that, or you can... I'm not sure what else you can use them for, actually, now that I think about it. It hasn't shown me that. You can also build an abode, although I've already got one, I think, or is that... yeah. You can also build a barrack, eventually, or garrison, my mistake, so that you can train more mims into being guardians. So do I have enough to upgrade this tower yet? Oh, I need a bio lab and a spaceport for all that me. Well, I guess that's forced my hand with what I'm making. So that's the radius I can build in. I want to try and make sure I have enough room for everything. So if I can put that there, will things get in the way? I don't think so. Why can't I place that there? Oh, there must have been a red square there. That's all blue, so I should be able to do that. There we go. So that's one criteria I filled, build the bio lab. And then the other one was, what was it? Uh, where are we, where are we, where are we? The other one was... Spaceport! Ah, yes. How much do I need for a spaceport? I need a silo and an extractor. I have both of those. So it's just a case of getting another 150 bio fruit, which they turn into biomass, which doesn't sound gross in the slightest. Uh, oh yes, they build via psychic energy. And that's what they're doing down there. They do get exhausted, so that's why you have houses, so they can rest. You can also use a side power to reinvigorate them. Oh, there's haste. I also have one to heal. That reinvigorates, actually. It's not actually health. I can burn things because that's enjoyable, and I can also kind of do a force blast. I'm not sure what I have to do with these bunnies now that they're here. I guess I could just sell them when I build the spaceport, but... Hmm. Should have enough fruit soon. Oh, they're tired, so they're going to go rest because they're lazy. I think you can buff up their stamina somehow, but I can't remember. That should be enough now, right? Yep, exactly enough. So where do I want this? Uh, let me see here. I don't want to eat up too much room. Oh, you can turn with the right click, by the way, or you can press these down here. Kind of there-ish? There. Yeah, let's have it away from the main building here. Can I? There we go. So now I can upgrade to side tower level 2 when I get 150 more. And that will let me build the new type of plant I have to build, or one of my secondary objectives. I still don't know how all this is going to help me deal with these poisonous plants. Or whatever the hell those things are. They look nasty. So while all this is building, I will go over some more details about the game in general, and in terms of price and whatnot. There is actually an Indiegogo campaign for the game. However, I've been meaning to cover this for a little while, and I, I ran out of time. So it's actually almost up. I think this might get posted before the campaign ends. However campaign is also uh, already successful so that's good they do have stretch goals I think so if you do want to check it out there will be a link to the Indiegogo campaign below but as I say they've already met their minimum so the game is happening so which I'm glad for because there's a lot of promise here and I believe if you back at a certain level on the Indiegogo campaign you can get the full game when it's released for a discounted price of eight dollars they told me their guesstimation for full price come release is somewhere between 13 and 16 dollars apparently subject to change based on a whole myriad of factors but that's their estimate they've given me and they're also aiming for a pc linux and mac release and that is my spaceport you have to fuel up the ship and whatnot and then fill it with animals i suppose i could sell my my flabbits but i don't know if i want to i get gems for that but i've already got quite a lot of gems i believe selling the animals you've genetically modified is the only way to get gems i think and eventually you will need them. Oh, they generate a lot. So, I can upgrade this. Yes, I can. So once I have this, I can build that new type of plant that spits out three... I mean, they basically look like bananas. You can call them bio fruit all you want, but those are bloody bananas. Oh, I heard one of those things down there, like, roaring. I wonder if I'm going to have to generate some form of, like, poison defense. Or oh, wait, I can burn them, right? So now it's in my sphere of influence. Let's test this. Burn! I saw green. Does that mean you're healing back the damage I'm doing? No, oh, what is this? New Psy Power Slow. With the new Psy upgrade, your tower slows down units it was used on. It's very useful to slow down hostiles so guardians can catch them. I agree. I totally forgot to mention this down here, this bar down here. This is the timeline. You can build a future center, I think it's called. The MIMS are psychic so they can see the future, and depending on which upgrades you buy, it pre-warns you when things are going to happen, like apparently meteor showers can happen, but it also warns you when predators or scavengers are going to appear on your island so you can prepare. 
Maybe you'd like to invest in new sources of electricity, like new wind turbines. Oh, you can get generators. Oh, there you go. Remember that if you lack electrical power, your cyan energy will charge much slower. Also remember that some planets, plants rather, have to be burned a few times to be destroyed completely. Ah, is that telling me that because that did nothing? The generator is expensive but gives much more electricity. I'm fine with using wind power, I think. Gives way more power than wind turbine. Yes, but it's bad for the environment, etc. Uh, can we build those three ones yet? No, because they're super expensive. Oh, that's right, I need to upgrade my silo. Or I could just build another one, in fact. You know what, I'm going to build another one. And put it right there. Let's try burning those plants again. Which way would we have to enter from? We would have to enter from this side here, so it makes sense that I would burn here first. But that's out of my radius. Ah, they are receding. So it's just the big guys can heal. They probably have to be killed by my guardians. But these small plants I can recede. So that's fine. Your psi energy is up in the top right, by the way. I can burn again. So let's do that. Yeah, I should have started doing this sooner, actually, because it's going to take quite a while. And that's why they want me to keep on finding ways to generate more psi power. So I might build a turbine in a second. Let's do one more flame. Yep. I'm curious if they'll grow back if I take too long as well. So I don't want to waste too much. Because they might make more spawn. I'm not sure. And I need lots of bio fruits, which needs that, that completed so I can harvest more. Oh, and speaking of. Um, shall I upgrade at one level? Yeah. Let's upgrade at one level. And where did I check my objectives again? That is possible. There it is. Nope, that is main menu. Where are my objectives? There's my objectives! Get into the canyon and investigate the evil plant's innards. I've done that one, so I just need to build two of those for the secondary objective. You can take a look here what the biolab can do. You can research different types of fruit. I believe they're so that uh, animals like can evolve into their full, full forms that you can then sell. Or you can actually build the animals. Right now I only have access to the, the flabbit. But that's fine. Probably build a wind turbine. They're pretty damn expensive. Wind power is expensive! Who knew? Can I place you next to the other guys? Come on, I want a symmetrical dealio here. No? Ah, damn it. I could burn the tree down and then I would have room, but then that's kind of defeating the point of trying to be eco-friendly. Uh, I can put it there. That should solve any power problems I'm going to be having. Oh, I am—I already am having power problems. The house isn't functioning. Hmm. Let's burn some more. Let's burn you guys. Oh, I didn't mean to take out the tree, but whoopsie daisy. So, so that seems to be like the progression. What I've shown you here is the progression thus far in the game. Keep in mind, I've only played the two tutorial stages prior to this, or one was the tutorial stage. The other one, it kind of let me have free reign a little bit. Eventually. This is how it plays though, so if you are familiar with the games I mentioned at the top of the video, Populous, and to a certain extent Black and White as well, although not quite as much, this might be right up your alley, it might be worth watching. It certainly has a nice visual style, I think it's programmed in Unity, I'm not sure, the the launcher for it is definitely the Unity one, in terms of how it looks there. Oh, I'm getting a cutscene, what's happening here? What are you doing? What's that? What did that do? It's damaging things. Where is it damaging? I didn't see what it hit. I don't know what you did. You hit something for 20 damage, but I don't have anything down there. Or did you hit my... whatever that is. Uh, curious, curious, curious. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to wait. I can actually get more MIMS. You launch an escape board... Did I say skateboard in there? Escape pod into space, and then you bring back a new MIM. I may actually get a couple to try and speed this process up a little bit. Yep, there you go, that's the escape pod going up and then it'll come back down with a new MIM for me because apparently there were so many MIMs on the ship that when it blew up it kind of scarred them all over the place. That's the excuse for generating new ones. Also, I'm sure that scream is very much like the Raving Rabbit scream, but that could just be me. Send another launcher into space there. I get the feeling this might actually be a long mission, so I don't think I'm going to have time, unfortunately, to... <laughs> hear the scream again. To show it all off. But, I think I am covering the essence of the game, and you probably already decided whether or not this is something you're into. Maybe if you're of a certain age, you aren't familiar with Populous and whatnot. But, if you're into this kind of strategy game, there's not much combat. There might be later on, maybe you get accosted lots by Predators later on. I'm not sure. I'm also not sure about the plans in the late game. 
you would have to follow the development to see that. Keep in mind this is a first impressions thing. What is that down there? I'm trying to turn the camera to see. No, I don't think we're going to get a view. I want to see what's at the back of the canyon down there-ish. But you can't quite get a good view of that. Let's see. He burned there. Sorry trees, I did not do that on purpose. Well, I did a bit. See, those ones there aren't fully disappearing, which implies to me that thing there is keeping them alive, maybe? So maybe I have to kill that. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, it's kind of disappearing. It looks like I need one more to get it, though. And I do have um, low on power again. Hmm. Come on, one more. That's it totally gone, right? Yeah, it is. Good. Oh, I've never seen a red face before. Does that mean he's ultra tired? Oh, there's a predator. I never even realized we got one. So my one guardian is chasing it. Thankfully. Some kind of spider thing. He annihilated it. Good job. Harvest it. Harvest it for bones. Now I can build my first one of these fruits. Oh, that's weird. Usually when you place these fruits, you're allowed to pick the direction it will fling the biomass, so you can kind of try and streamline the process by making them land near reducer. Uh, I guess I'll just put it there and hope for the best. I must fire in set directions. I think what I want to do for this video is finish the sub-objective. Maybe try and trigger some kind of cutscene to tell me what to do regarding this this thing of death down here. Can I extend my range again? What do I need? I need 400. Yeah, I can. Okay, if I wait to max out my biomass, I can upgrade my barrier such that I can open up the entrance to the chasm, and that might trigger a new objective, although I am to build one more of these fruit to see what happens. What are you so upset for? You're tired. Well, go rest in the house, then. I have to do everything? Oh, I can tell you to do it, don't I? There you go. There, go rest in the house. I could also be sending my spaceship to sell those rabbits, but I don't need the gems yet. That should say one of two placed. Yep. Good. Good, good, good. Which biomass do I need? I need 350. Oh, that's a lot. It's a small plant. gives medium number of burp, burp trip biofruits. Throwing fruits away, but not too far. Fair enough, I guess. And I think I will start going over my final thoughts thus far. Oh, hang on. There's another predator just teleported in. Where's my guardian? Typical that the game distracts me with something just as I'm about to start my kind of my thoughts on the game so far. I wasn't much into Populous when I was younger. You come here. You kill you kill this thing. You kill that. But I do have a soft spot for kind of RTS type games. It's not too serious and it's also not too warring based. You're not building up to defeat an enemy base in an army. Maybe you do that eventually, I don't know. But it's nice. It's just a nice little thing to enjoy. And I like the art style a lot. I'm actually rather impressed with how it looks. I remember seeing a, a progress shot that the devel developers did on Reddit, actually, where they showed how the game looked when they first started making it compared to... Oh, he's stuck! No, kill it! Kill it! Kill it! I can help you. Hang on. Uh, force push. Oh, don't tell me you're too weak. You're, you're on half health. That's enough, man. Kill it. Oh, he hasn't taken any health at all, in fact. Oh, he's out of my range. I can't burn him. Oh, dear. I don't want... If my one guardian dies, that's a problem. I mean, I can make more once I build a garrison or whatever it's called, but... Oh, no, I can't, because I need Psy Tower level 3. That Guardian can't die. Can I heal him? Yes, I can. There, now go kill it. No, no, it's because he's tired, so he's just going to let the alien run amok. You can't get good help these days, honestly. Come on, kill it. Or at least draw him in so I can burn him. There we go. Kill this. Where the hell are you? Oh, screw it. Go rest, then. Let him murder my mims. I don't even care anymore. Like that poor one there. Unfortunately, the basic mims don't even fight back at all. How much health have you got left? I'm only... Oh, you're only a half. That is bad. It's chasing the flabbits now, though, and it looks like they're fast enough to actually avoid him, which is interesting. Oh shit, I didn't know I could knock them off the edge! Um, uh, mistakes were made. Had to be done. To kill the evil, unkillable spider, a mim and three flabbits had to be sacrificed to Kali. Whoops. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> let's, let's move on. This has been the MIMS beginning. There is an Indiegogo campaign, I will link it in the description box below. I encourage you to at least go take a look. And if you want to help the developers in a free way, consider sharing or thumbing up this video. And if you do go to the Indiegogo campaign, you can get the game at a discounted price. Yeah, kill it! Finally! This is a new one, I assume, because the other one did fall to its death. Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it survived. The sacrifice was in vain. Yeah, you can get it for apparently $8 if you back at the Indiegogo campaign at a certain level, I assume. Oh, and there finally is my new plant grown. And Or if you just want to wait when it is eventually released. There was no guesstimated release date given to me. However, the Indiegogo campaign page may have an estimate for you if you are curious. Available on PC, Linux and Mac. And I'm going to wrap up here. I'm sorry I didn't get much done. But the game is not fast paced. The game is a moderate mellow pace is how I would describe it. Which may be a bad thing to some people. If it is, then fair enough, it's not for you. But I think there will be a certain group of people who will be very into what the MIMS has to offer. And that's how I'm going to end my first impressions. Thank you, as always, for watching. Stay tuned for more Let's Look at more gaming stuff in general. My name has been Flick, and ta-ta for now.